Here we go, going to do the timing chains on the 3.2. So this is the bub engine that I've got here. And first step is making sure you've got everything, all the info, I've got Elsa Win here. Engine's opened up, timing covers off. And first step is to make sure everything is at top dead center. So you can tell by cylinder, cylinder number one's cam lobes should be facing each other, which you can see there. I've already taken the bits off down here, but there's a marker here. That point in the back hog points to a point in the block. Um, there's a ground tooth down here as well to show us which is top dead center and you can kind of see where is it that one down there which aligns to a sort of crack or a join in the um, crank mounting uh, what's it called uh, the crank shaft uh, bracket or Yep, that's what that is. You can see the ground tooth there versus the ones at the top which are all pointy. There's one that's kind of shaved off. And then on the other side, one final timing point on this side, uh, which I've marked with the silver pen. There's a little notch there and you can see there's a little mark on the block to help you see that that is at top dead center. First step. The bottom chain is fitted along with the guides and there's the alignment mark up the top there in line with a little notch behind it. Boom. And you just want to make sure all the slack is on the right hand side before fitting that bracket and tensioner. So next is fitting the camshaft locking bar. And sometimes you do have to sort of wiggle the cams around because the bar doesn't lock in all the time. So you can see that side is fine, that side is not. So a little bit of a rotation towards me and that should get it good. Let's just check that a little bit more. Oh, no, wrong way. Other way. Nope, 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 like that. And there we go. That locks everything in. Good. Then with the inlet cam, turn it as far left all the way, which then lines up these little marks. So there's this little arrow there, lined up to the notches there. So that notch arrow little tiny marks on the cam faces which is a little bit annoying it's not that big line but it's this little arrow there that you want to pay attention to on both cam faces so on the uh, exhaust one you can see there's the arrow here and that lines up to those notches there so time to test the timing remove that locking plate this has been aligned So marked link there, marked link there, and it lines up to its spots. Three chain links there, middle one goes to that notch. And then release the tension here, and then test the timing.